Welcome back to KTN Prime. So the Met Governor Isaac Ruto has decided to join NASA alongside his Chama Chamashinani party. And we're asking, you know, a big queue, do you think that will reduce his chances to retain his seat in the forthcoming general elections? Here's some of what you're saying tonight. Chiponda Mogongo, no, Governor Ruto has a following and his own supporters joining NASA won't change a thing. From Itan Kenya, Bernard Rona, you say no, Bonaruto ni mtuawatu, no changes will uh, take place at all. But uh, Kennedy Chasiyanganga, you're saying Bomet governor has automatically failed terribly by joining NASA. Big betrayal to Bomet residents and one more Stephen Nisoga. No, in fact, he will become as strong as Joho. Keep your thoughts coming, tweeting at KTN News, at KTN Kenya, at Sophia Wanula. So it has been a day of tension, chaos, and delays, not just in ODM party, but also in other political parties. Akisa Wandera now reports on what happened in the counties. ODM nominations in Naivasha were called off after two warring groups clashed, leaving scores injured and voting material damaged. This is after one of the popular candidates, David Kilo, was beaten up and later arrested by police as tension in Olkari ward heightened. Kilo was rushed to the Naivasha sub-county hospital in handcuffs after suffering serious injuries on the head, accusing the police of manhandling him. Two other voters were also seriously injured, with one getting leg fractures as anti riot police were dispatched to the areas to calm the tension. <laughs> Sasa mameniambia siyezi piga kula. Kwa nini na nini nirudi huko tena nikaangaliwa nikambiwa niko kwa kompyuta nipige kula. So tulikuwa nauzana hivi. Siku enyo walikuwa naenda kukaa chini kama e, wanachama wa ODM. Kwa ni awa kuambiana ya kwamba watakuwa napeleka e, wa, ma, ma agents wangapi. Yo ni swali kwa tunajuzana. As this happened, Kases parliamentary aspirant Swarup Mishra was hospitalized after his supporters clashed at a hotel in Eldoret. Scores of supporters of the two teams were also injured and are currently receiving treatment at different medical facilities. When we received Dr. Mishra in the hospital, he, he had some sprains in the neck. His neck was apparently twisted and uh, that's the reason we gave him a neck belt and we did an x-ray of the neck also. Now we are investigating it. He has a very difficulty while turning the move. There is, however, conflicting accounts on what occurred with both factions heaping the blame on each other. Hii kambe dumanza kufanya kwa muda mrefu, tukifanya kwa usalama. Lakini saa hii vile imebaki siku tatu, hameona eh, pengine hata isa shindwa, anaansa kulete vita kwetu. Uh, Dr. Mishra had about 10 uh, people who strategized his campaign. And as they were planning, they were ambushed by a group of one of our opponent. Eldred South OCPD Wilson Abduba said, he has commenced investigations into the matter. In Busia County, a Mani National Congress returning officer Silas Masika survived lynching after the party's nomination exercise in Butla constituency turned chaotic. The irate crowd protested against the officer's decision to use a new register for the exercise, locking most of them out. <laughs> Various aspirants expressed concern over the delays experienced, saying they read malice into it. Tunajua kuna mipango imefanywa ambayo itafanyika giza ikingia, hata kule masebula saizi, kuna vijana, kuna watu ambao walikuwa wamekuja kutoka ugenya, pick up mbili, now elsewhere, Kajodo North ODM nomination exercise has been postponed to Wednesday after it emerged that names of four parliamentary aspirants were missing from the ballot papers. Voters in various polling stations refused to vote until the names of the other parliamentary aspirants were inserted. The aspirants, on the other hand, accused one of them of being behind their woes in a bid to get a direct ticket. Nominations will be conducted tomorrow. And what I've already said, we have been having a lot of rumors. And these ways the things are being done, it is going to prove that what has been said in the public is what is going on. The party must pull up its socks. 
and do a better job so that we don't have a situation which can make our members to lose faith in the party. And finally, an ODM party member has sued Migori Governor Kotobado for engaging in other party affairs without giving a notice of defection from his original party. George Odede, who filed the petition at the High Court in Nairobi, says that Governor Obado, who was elected on a People's Democratic Party ticket, which he is said to have openly declared to have decamped from, joined ODM. Odede, in his petition, claims that ODM is in violation of the Constitution and the Political Parties Act 2011 for failing to stop Obado from engaging in the party's affairs before formally giving notice of his defection from PDP. ODM, through lawyer Samuel Makori, responded, saying that, just like any other entrant, Obado met the conditions set out in the party constitution and the relevant national legislation, and having gone through the set procedures, joined the ODM party as a member. Akisa Wandera, KTN News. Controversial Kibete political aspirant Charles Shege, who went missing on Friday but was found alive on Sunday, today recorded a statement at a Kibete police station denying that he may have stage managed his disappearance. Even as that took place, yet another aspirant within the same area, Kennedy Kinyanjui, vying for an MCA post, was also reported missing. Chege Fresh, as he's popularly known in these parts of Kenya, would somewhat make a triumphant return to the area he wants to represent come August the 8th. You'd think he'd won the elections already. Just two days ago, Charles Chege Gitau was a missing man and residents in Kabete were up in arms. 24 hours later, he was found in Narok, and today the political hopeful was recording a statement with the area OCPD regarding the strange incident. I'm not going to divulge anything about the investigations which are still going on. Eh? This is a judicial process, and I'm not in any way going to uh, jeopardize it. I want to thank my supporters for praying with me. I was praying where I was. And I can tell you it was not a good ordeal. It's something I cannot even wish to my worst enemy. It's something that uh, made me think twice about politics. But uh, through prayers, I am very safe. His strange disappearance and subsequent reappearance just 24 hours later may have raised eyebrows among some with claims of faking his own distress to garner sympathy votes a claim the politician vehemently denies. We need to discount the rumors, the two rumors. We need to know which is which, whether I stay managed it, but that I can tell you uh, <laughs> I can't stay manage my own kidnapping. We need to discount the other side, whether it was political, but that one we leave to police. <laughs> this politics akabete, watu wafanya kwa amani, the, the, the best man wins. Sindio? Yeah. But even as the politician was celebrating his safe return with his supporters, yet another political aspirant vying for the Ikinu MCA post within Gidunguri constituency went missing Monday evening. Kijana yangu alipotea saatano sausiku. Na alikuwa huko kamondo saamoja, kukakuja, Alavu akieda nyumbani akapigia simu na watu wengine anataka kuja hapa akarudi kurudi akakufika nyumbani a motorcycle rider found Kennedy Kinyanjui's car abandoned by the roadside interestingly his car's rear view mirror had been damaged just like the case for Chege Fresh and his personal items were found within the vehicle tunataka kansula wetu the aspirant was later found Tuesday afternoon, kilometers away in Mlolongo town, after he reportedly made his own way to a police post. The increasing cases of political aspirants disappearing, becoming the order of the day in this area, causing much concern among security officers. Question is, are these disappearances genuine? Is it a case of dirty politics or could they have been stage managed for political mileage? Timothy Otieno, K10.
KTN News.